In this video, we are going to talk about Top 10 Things to Do as a Solo Traveler in Thailand. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Number 10. Krabi The karst formations that border Krabi's coast are the region's main attraction since they significantly enhance the breathtaking beauty of the surroundings. Activities in Krabi Thailand ascend the 1,237 steps to the top of Tiger Cave Temple or Wat Tam Suya to take in the breathtaking panorama of the surrounding area. The town's symbol is a group of karstic rocks that resemble crab claws, or Khao Kanab Nan. In Krabi town, there is a white temple called Wat Kao. A day trip to the islands. The Four Island Tour, which includes Turtle Island, Chicken Island, Tup Island, and More Island, is the most well-liked. The Night Market where you may sample regional cuisine. Hike the Tab Kak Hang NAK Nature Path and take in the scenery after a 4-kilometer ascent. Emerald Pool A serene, naturally emerald green swimming hole. To take a stroll through a tropical forest, visit Khao Phanam Bencha National Park. Number 9. Isan tourists in Thailand tend to ignore Isan, a province to the northeast of Bangkok. Yet, if you want to venture off the beaten path or have previously traveled to Thailand's more well-known tourist destinations, this is a fantastic spot to go. One of the most stunning national parks in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Khao Yai National Park is located there. This expansive 2,100 square kilometer region is great for hiking and is home to a variety of wildlife, including tigers, leopards, and pythons, which are, I must say, a little frightening. In addition to birds and gibbons, the city of Nan Rome and its Khmer temples should not be missed when you are in the area. Though less well-known than the Angkor temples in Cambodia, they are nonetheless worthwhile to visit. You must visit Phanom Rung Historical Park to admire them. It dominates the surrounding area and is home to multiple temples because it was constructed on the summit of a volcano. Number 8. Mae Hong Sun Province One of Thailand's most remote provinces is Mae Hong Sun. It is located close to Burma's border. The most well-known city in this area, Pai, approximately 145 kilometers northwest of Chiang Mai. Both tourists and Thais, who don't hesitate to travel all the way from Bangkok. Like it. There are no significant tourist attractions. Folks only travel to Pai for its distinct hippie and bohemian lifestyle as well as to unwind and take in the breathtaking scenery of the region. Also, there are many options available if you wish to go out at night to eat or drink. Last but not least, Pai is renowned for its involvement in the narcotics trade. Near Pai, there are a number of waterfalls, hot springs, a few temples, and Pai Canyon, which is renowned for being a great sight to watch the sunset. Number 7. Trek in the northern mountains You ought to go on a trek while you're on vacation in northern Thailand. This area is ideal for these kinds of activities. Several tour operators provide treks of varied lengths and challenges to explore the highlands and get to know the local ethnic groups. You can go to the villages of the Aka, Karen, a group renowned for its ladies with long necks, also known as giraffe women, or Kahu, and perhaps even spend the night there. More and more often, these excursions are planned with a focus on morality and sustainable growth, for the most part, at least. Scholarships or health center financing are two uses for the funds raised. Number 6. Chiang Rai The other significant city in northern Thailand is Chiang Rai. It lies 200 kilometers northeast of Chiang Mai and offers a daily flight from its airport to Bangkok or southern islands like Phuket or Krabi. There is no train station, but you can get there by bus or automobile, the nearest one is in Chiang Mai. Things to visit in northern Thailand's Chiang Rai as a solo traveler. One of the primary draws for tourists to this city is unquestionably the White Temple, also known as Wat Rong Khun. The White Temple is well known around the world, and I must say that it has earned its reputation. It really is stunning. The entire temple, Wat Rong Suya Tan, including the enormous statues at the entryway are all blue, as you may have imagined. A beautiful location with free admission. The night market is the ideal spot to purchase many types of souvenirs. It's prettier and less expensive than the one in Bangkok. Number 5. Chiang Mai you can fly directly into the city since it has an international airport, usually after making a stop in Bangkok. In addition to a car, it is also possible to travel from Bangkok to Chiang Mai by bus or rail. The top activities in Thailand's Chiang Mai are listed below. 
take a stroll through the old town, which houses most of the temples. Among them are the well-known Wat Phra Sing and Wat Chang Man. Take a Thai cooking class. This is a popular activity in Thailand, and the city is the best place to do it. Learn about the regional markets. There are enough to keep you busy between Wararat Market, the Night Bazaar, and Saturday and Sunday night markets. Visit Hawaii Lake and have lunch by the water in a bamboo cabin. It is the preferred weekend hangout for Thai folks. Visit Doi Suthep Temple in Doi Suthep National Park, which is 10 minutes from the city via automobile. Visit Bubing Palace and stroll through the royal family's Winter Palace's flower gardens. Visiting an elephant sanctuary, but refraining from riding them. Number 4. Sukhothai Sukhothai is another option if you wish to visit temples while in Thailand. Northern Thailand's Sukhothai Heritage Park is 280 kilometers from Chiang Mai and 400 kilometers from Bangkok. Sukhothai, the historic capital of the Siam Kingdom, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, just like Ayutthaya. Across three different regions of the site are various ruined temples. The most noteworthy part of the city is the Central District, which has the biggest and best preserved temples, entry fee, $2.95. Give yourself two hours to explore the temples on foot. Although renting a bike is an option, it's not really practical for traveling such short distances. The North Zone, admission $2.95, mostly consists of two temples, the most notable of which is a massive sitting Buddha that stands 15 meters tall. You'll need a bike or a car to get there from the core area. Number 3. Lopburi If you're looking for the greatest activities in Thailand as a solo travelers around Ayutthaya, you can head to Lopburi, which is a one-hour drive away. A few abandoned temples can be found in Lopburi, one of the nation's oldest cities. These aren't the major draw there, though. The vast number of monkeys that have colonized the area is what draws the majority of visitors. In the ruins, there are literally hundreds of them. Prang Sam Yat is the most well-known location both for the monkeys and the architecture. Kanchanaburi and the bridge over the river Kwai. 130 kilometers to the northwest of Bangkok is Kanchanaburi. Even if you've never heard of it by that name, you've undoubtedly heard of the bridge across the river Kwai, one of Thailand's most significant historical and tourism destinations. It serves as a reminder of the city's devastating Second World War past. To construct more than 400 kilometers of railway between Thailand and Myanmar, the Japanese military forced hundreds of prisoners of war into servitude at Kanchanaburi. Almost 16,000 people have perished during construction due to sickness, violence, and starvation. It was the sole steel bridge constructed in Thailand out of the 688 bridges constructed by the Japanese army. You should definitely travel to Kanchanaburi and its key attractions if you're interested in history. The Railway Museum which provides information on the background of the death railway and the difficult living conditions of inmates. Number 1. Bangkok You will immediately notice the crowds, traffic, odors, and noises when you arrive in Bangkok. In other words, you will become completely engrossed in the energy of this vibrant metropolis. There is a considerable possibility you will arrive in or depart from Bangkok if you plan to travel to the north or center of Thailand. Spend two or three days there to help you acclimatize to Asia and recover from jet lag. Even though there are differing views on the largest Thai city, it is still a must see when visiting Thailand. The following are the top attractions in Bangkok for lone travelers. The Royal Palace or Grand Palace is a famous landmark and one of Bangkok's most popular tourist attractions. Wataroon is a Buddhist temple that is situated across the river from the Royal Palace. The third most well-known temple in Bangkok is Wat Pho. The well-known, 45-meter-long statue of the reclining Buddha is located there. Once a backpacker district, Khao San Road is now frequented by all types of tourists. Bangkok is very lively and offers a variety of inexpensive places to stay, including stores, pubs, restaurants, and guest houses. The Golden Mount, the temple, which is perched atop a hill, provides a broad perspective of the entire city. Chinatown is a bustling neighborhood with many street vendors and shops. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching, and see you next time.